Oh, what up, what up, what up? Yo, what's going on? Hope all is well. Shout out to you and yours. Peace and blessings. Prayers up, man. Hope everybody is good today. Let me know if you can hear me now. Let me know if you can hear me now. My uh, my playback in my studio is kind of freezing. It's just spinning. So I just want to make sure y'all can hear me and y'all can see me. Everything good? Everything good? Y'all let me know in the chat, man, while we getting everybody in here. Hope all is well with you today on this Thursday. All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. What's up, Sonny? What's going on? What's going on? What's up, Skylark? What's up, Rob? What's good? What's good, man? How y'all doing today? Hope all is well with y'all on this Thursday. We back at it again, man. I'm jumping back in the Trophy Bass 2 with this Worm Jig bait. I'm finna go to uh, the Everglades, and then we'll hit Quanchkin last. We did in the Heron in the last one. I may do both. I may just do one. I don't know. I'm gonna see how we feel on this one. But yeah, I'm hitting the Everglades. I ain't been to the Everglades in a little minute, man, so it'd be good to go back there. If you've never been to the Everglades, you know, if you hadn't seen it yet, depending on your level, or you just hadn't visited, the Everglades is a pretty good lake. Um, it's a lot you can catch, you know, bass. They do have some big joints uh, in the back in this one area, tarpon, snook, drum. But, yeah, you also can come here and fish bass even at an earlier level. Or when you first hit the level, you can come here and get your fish on. And, uh, you know, the bigger stuff will probably break your ride, so you want to be careful. But uh, the other stuff you'll be pretty good with. All right. So let me see. Let me see. Yeah, we are here. Let me check my map real quick. I'm trying to catch these large mouths. And when I first started fishing here, I wasn't using markers. But then I did start dropping quite a few once I learned the marker game. But I don't know if I actually marked the large mouth. Yeah, there go the tarps, the red drum. I caught the monster one as well. All right. If I remember correctly, though, this is a good spot right here. Hey, what's up, Dave? What's going on? What's going on? How y'all doing? What's good with y'all today? Oh, this ain't the ride I want. Let me get my spin ride out. Let me get my spin ride out. Right now, I'm working with the, I believe this is my Aurora 8-foot. And I got a shad on here. Now, we need that worm jig. We need that worm jig. Let me switch it up real quick, switch up my setup. I still have the jig, but I switched it up. I'm going to go with this acid green. This one worked out pretty well. Let's see what we can get here. All right, Dave. You say, how come I stream this early? Uh, figured I'd just do it a little earlier today. And if I can, I might jump back on later. But just doing it a little earlier. Had a lot of work going on and stuff like that. And then, um, you know, in the evening, I've been doing more. Uh, you know, my son, he be up a little bit later sometimes. You know how I be with the kids. So um, I'd be wanting to get on here to stream, man. And, you know, I'd be trying to do it as regularly as possible. But, yeah, life been a little, you know, crazy with work resuming and, you know, life opening back up. So, yeah, just getting on a little earlier, man. And, you know, if you guys can't be here, if the stream is earlier or whatnot, you know, just watch it later. You know, drop me a comment or something, man. Hopefully uh, we can get on together. You know, even if it's over the weekend. But, yeah, man, just wanting to get in here and stream with you guys, man. Just wanting to get on the stream. Yeah, man, how you been, though? What's been going on with you? Uh, Sky said you saw someone play a bass tourney. Oh, yeah, that's what's up. I did the carp tourney. That was the last one I streamed. But, man, they so difficult to place. Even if you, like, know the spots and, you, you know, you real good with it. Attorneys and the competitions can be real fluky. 
real fluky. It's very RNG. Let's see. I had a hit. Hopefully, it won't take us too long to catch this five pound. We need a five pound largemouth bass. Y'all let me know if you know the good spots for the largemouth bass. Uh, this is one where I know I've caught a lot of bass at, but if you know another spot, you let me know as well. I'll try it out. Y'all know how we do. Yeah, any of y'all fishing right now? Or will you be fishing later? Yeah, usually this is a nice spot for bass. I'm going to have to check my bite chart. I'll do that in a moment. I say this. Oh, there we go. We got a hit. There we go. There we go. Let's see if this is a large mouth or a small mouth. Get on in here. All right. Large mouth. We got us one. 3.4. We need a five pounder. The five pounder most likely is going to be a trophy. All the ones I've seen with these challenges like this are trophies. So, yeah, we're going to see if we can get us a trophy up in now. Uh, let's see. Cast in the middle of the channel. That's where you catch most of them. Okay. Now, this same channel that I'm fishing down or another one? You know, we got a couple channels sitting right here. Come on in. There we go. We got us a couple nice catches. 2.6. Yeah, down the middle right here. Or to the right. I'm going to do one, two, three. One, two, or three. Or all the way to the other side. I'm going to go on down this way deeper. And we'll see what we get. Ah, that ain't where I meant to go. <laughs> I meant to go down the other one. Okay, this one here that I that I uh cashed down. Okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. Well, we going to see what we get, guys. We going to see what we get. Axiom, hey, what up? What up? What's going on? What's going on? What's up, Tristan? What's going on? Uh, I am currently fishing at the Everglades, uh, Florida. I'm doing this trophy bass two. See if I can catch a five pounder real quick. Oh, there we go. We got us another hit. Got us another hit. Come on in. Okay, 2.7. Let me look at our bite chart real quick. Let me see how we looking. Uh, we all right. The, the peak peak is later in the day. But I think we'll be all right. Yeah, man. Well, what's been going on, man? We got one more day before Friday, man. What's been going on with you guys? Anything of note? Oh, there we go. We got another hit. We got a hit. Oh. Uh oh. This one giving a little more fight. He could be that five pounder. He fighting. 
he probably at least four. Yeah, the way he going, he's at least four. Oh yeah, he running. He running. Can I give it one more? Yeah. Bring my drag up just a little more. Yeah, he running. This one might be it, guys. He acting like he a trophy. Unless he just happens to not be a bass, but I, I feel like this is going to be a bass. This might be the one. It might be the one. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Oh, yeah, he fight. He is fight. He acting like he a little baby monster. Come on in. Come on in. Oh, yeah, he is a little baby monster. I wonder, can he get over that 6.7? I need to catch a bash that's over 6.7. A 5 here, a 5.6 at Quanchkin. And then a 6.7. Oh, come on. This boy is fighting. <laughs> he is fighting. I mean, this ride is only like an 11 pound setup. So if he is about six, you know, he's going to give a little bit of fight. Versus my heavier, uh, my casting setup. Come on in. Come on in. Yeah, this is it. This definitely is going to uh, complete the mission. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He heavy. There it is. Broom. Oh, it was both of them. Seven pound. Nice. We called us a seven pounder. We called us a seven pounder. Nice. That actually completed two facets of this mission. I needed one that was 6.7 and 5, and that knocked them both off at the same time. Nice, nice, nice. All right, cool. So check that one in. Let me mark him. I actually meant to screenshot that, but that's all right. We'll catch him again. All right, there it is. Somebody sent me a marker. Hey, the had a hype fisherman sent me a marker. He caught a uni up in here. Okay. Uh with a bass jig and a worm three. Ooh, I should have tried my bass jig. If it'll still give me credit, I'm gonna try a bass jig with that worm three on there. Hey, appreciate that. Appreciate that. Ah, Jared sent me the trophy blue cat. Nice. Okay, when I get the Quanchkin, I'll uh I'll accept that one as well. Let's see where he caught that one. I caught that trophy right there. Let's see if we can find that marker real quick. Ah, right, there it is. He caught that Yoni. Yo, appreciate that hype. All right, cool, cool, cool. So we're going to go ahead and dip, man. That's all we needed to do here. I could catch a few others, but uh, yeah, we handled that. We handled that. Okay. So now I'm going to get out of here, and we are going to go to Quanchkin and see if we can complete this mission, man. Oh, man. So, yeah, man, what have y'all been catching, man? Y'all been catching any big ones? Y'all been catching any real-life fish? I know we got some real-life anglers. Some real-life anglers. We were at Quashka not too long ago for a different mission, actually. Yeah, we were at Quashka not too long ago. All right, where are the bass areas? Now, I know we caught the white bass, but I believe the bass bass is over in this area somewhere. Yeah, I believe the bass bass is over in this area. All right, 
right, let's close this. Let me check my map real quick. Right, that's the vampire guard, the zombie cat. Caught the vampire guard and that zombie cat here. All right, now these chain pickerels, bass usually hang out in the same place as the pickerel. So if I got to start somewhere, if I don't have any bass on my list, I'm going to go over there where those pickerels are located. That's the trophy white. That's the spotted bass. See if we can find these joints. Okay. Up. Oh, up. Oh, there we go. GB. Yo, appreciate it. Jared done sent me the trophy large. That's that five. Hey, appreciate that, G. And that cat. Man, shout out to everybody who, who comes through and, and helps out supports. Let's see where this marker is. That's the zombie. Y'all check out GB. White bass. Look, now just there's so many markers, I got to find it. The chain. Spotted. Oh, man. Let's see if we can find this joint. Those are our gar. Okay, there it is. So I'm going to have to go to the gar spot. This is where we were at looking for the white bass at the gar spot. Uh, all right, where's our gar spot at? Where's our gar spot at? Hey, appreciate that, GB, man. That's good looking out. Uh, I believe this is our guard spot. Is it Cypress or down south? I'm going to go to down south first. Yeah, it's down south. Look like it's over that way, though. Let's check our map one more again. Okay. We are facing in the exact direction. It's right there. It's right there. And it looks like we can reach it. Now, that's quite a cast. If I have to, I'm going to see if going to the other side would give us a little uh, more distance, put us closer. But it looks like we good right here. I'll check my bite chart, too. Oh, somebody need the coordinates for smallmouth buffalo. Oh, oh we got a hit. Oh, we got a hit. There we go. What did we get at first cast? What did we get at first cast? It's a little heavy. It's putting some tension on the line now. It's putting some tension on the line. If we do, I'm definitely going to send Buddy my coordinates. I'm going to do it anyway. What is this? Is this it, guy? Is this it out the gate? That's a drum. Hey, we did catch a trophy drum, though, with the barbless jig. Nice, nice, nice. I will take that. Let me take a picture of him. Let me take a picture of him real quick. It ain't that we haven't caught a nice drum before, but this is the first time I caught a, a nice trophy one here, I believe. Oh, it's been a while. That was a nice one. I'm going to mark him, too. I'm going to mark him, too. Hut dude asking, how did I catch the freshwater drum? Hold on, let me let me help out this person. Uh, how did you catch the freshwater drum? Um, fishing bass, but caught him with a worm on a barbless jig head. Oh, uh, say so he using blood worms right now, and they work for unique. Uh, I'm going to let him know I'm going to send him, send you my, uh, because he said he was looking for the buffalo. I like to help out others, man, you know. We all being here helping each other, and again, I appreciate you guys helping me as well. Let me send him these coordinates, man, and then um, we'll get back to it. Uh, let's see, Iron say, just got in the fishing planet last week, and your channel has been a huge help. Keep up the great work. Hey, glad to hear that, man. Glad that the channel has helped, the videos helped. Oh, good luck on your fishing, man. Let me know how it goes, man, on the journey as you uh, as you continue to learn the game and level up 
You know, let me know how things go, man. Stop through anytime. Where did I see that buffalo? Okay, there it is. Uh, 2011. Let me get him these buffalo. 2011, 116. Well, 20 by 116. We don't need the point. All right. Uh, 20 by 116 for the small mouth buffalo. Uh, let's see. I use. Let's see. I call the drum uh, stop and go. All right, all right, let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. All right, man. So, yeah, guys, so y'all let me know, man, what has been going on with you. What you been catching recently? What you been catching recently? <laughs> Tell them come join the stream. All right, look, I do that. I do that. <laughs> After I reel this in, shout out to Miss Mac. What's going on with you? Hope all is well with you today. And you've been having a great day. All right, let's see, let's see. We're going to catch it. Oh, I got to look at my bite chart, too. I got to look at my bite chart. Let's see if we at peak time. You don't really have to be at peak time, but it helps. I'm going I'm to I'm mention the stream just because you said something, Miss Mac. Oh. Let me take this caps lock off, though. All right, here we go. All right, all right, all right. So, yeah, we caught our other uh, trophy largemouth at the Everglades. And now we're here at Quanchkin, just in case you're wondering. I may throw out my gar. You know what? I, I think I'll do that as well, just to keep it interesting. I'm going to put my stand out, see if we can um, catch us some guards since we're at the guard spot. If you guys ever come to Everglades and you kind of want to see how to catch the guard, I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Wow, we hunt our largemouth bass. How about that? Okay, we'll get set. Let me move over a bit. Okay, we are in the peak, so we're pretty good right now. Uh, change this bait real quick. Put us some large uh, minnows on. I'm going to just throw out one because if I throw out too many and they start getting active, it's going to take away. All right, there we go. Uh, Buddha, you say you level 29, so you starting at St. Croix soon, but White Moose has been great. You caught a bunch of trophies and some unique thanks to the vid. Hey, that's what's up. Yeah, White Moose, I actually got to go vi revisit White Moose. That was one of my favorite favorite lakes for a long time and white moose is a really fun lake uh those trout and you know you got the pike over there as well and so when i learned the lake man it was, it was a lot i actually got to do another update because i really like spin fishing just because you don't have to buy lure over and over again you buy them once but you can only spin fish one cast at a time you can't spin fish with three rides 
So of course, uh, feeder and uh, match fishing is also good. Oh, 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 we got a hit. So, ah uh, man, my volume. Oh, the volume through my headphones right now. I couldn't hear the beeping. We got a cigar on. But uh, yeah, at White Moose, um, I learned another bait that works really well for catching trout. Works really well. So I'm going to do an update video. I had went back. It, it was a little while ago and did some more testing. And so, yeah, man, White Moose is really good, though. Really good. And those uniques, were you able to keep the uniques? Were you able to hold them? Because I know when I first started catching those unis, man, they were too big. Hey, we got us a trophy gar. They were too big for my keep net. I had to uh, upgrade my keep net, which took a little while. Took some leveling and some stacking some money. So, yeah, yeah, let me know if you were able to keep it. Hey, what's up, Dean? Hey, all is well, all is well. I cannot complain. How are you? How are you? What's going on? Uh, you say, thanks for the location on the Buffalo. You were casting way too far out. Hey, glad I could help. Glad I could help. Uh, let's see. No block. Best regards from Germany. Hey, shout out to Germany. Shout out from the States, man. Thank you. Appreciate you stopping through. Look, I knew a little bit of German, but it's just curse words, though. <laughs> I had a friend, uh, a family of, of mine, some really, really good people. They, they're fam. And uh, I learned a little bit of German. But well, that was a while ago, though. I, I hadn't used it, so I done kind of lost most of it. But, yeah, shout out, man. Appreciate you stopping through. Hey, Dane, so you did catch the buffalo? Did you need to catch a specific one, like a, a trophy or a uni, or did you just need to catch it, period? This largemouth is not cooperating right now. <laughs> okay, so you know a little more than curse words. All right, yeah. I think about the only thing else I remember. Okay, just for the expiration too. Okay, okay. Oh, um, I remember we had a dog, and I learned how to like tell the dog to sit and stuff like that. Just simple, simple terms, you know. Um, I could, I wasn't like a conversationalist or anything. I just learned a lot of little terms and phrases. Uh oh, we got a hit. Here we go. Oh, oh, we got a bite. Now this might be another drum. Yeah, this is like another drum. All right, looks like that spot is active with drum. Let me try another worm. I got this blue worm. Uh, I believe my guy who sent me the spot, he actually had a. Let me see what color worm he was using. I think he had one that I don't have. Okay, he, he was using that hollow casting spoon. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have that, but right now I got to use a worm. So we're going to keep trying these worms, and hopefully we will avoid those drum. They seem to be a little active right now. Uh, Do you have the trophy uh, half-ounce bass jig with the four-aught? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that when I reel that in. I'll be forgetting that, you know, my bass jig will still qualify me for this mission. And not just the regular jig by itself. So, yeah, let me do that. As soon as I reel this one in, I'm going to put the bass jig on there. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I was saying who that was. It got me real and funny. Yeah, it is a mission, but it's still a jig mission, so that might work. It'll let me know if it qualifies. What's up, Danielle? What's going on? What's going on? 
Hey, I'm doing well. How about you? How about you? Yeah, let's try this jet, this uh bass jig. See if we have a little luck with that. Uh, where my jigs at? There we go. Let's see. You said the trophy. Yep, the trophy quarter ounce. I got it right there, and I got an X series. That X series might be too big though. This trophy bass will probably be pushing it a bit, but it should at least be all right. Should I do that chocolate? I'm going to go back to this acid one. And if need be, I switch to the chocolate. We'll try that one out next. All right, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I cannot complain. I cannot complain. Look, been a good day. Been busy, you know, working. And uh, figured I would get on here and stream a bit, see if I can knock out this mission. Let's see, equip worm jig bait. Ah, this one don't qualify. This bass jig bait doesn't qualify because it's telling me over there. So I'm going to have to put the regular jig back on. Dog on it. I'm going to have to put the regular jig back on. And watch us catch the, the 5.6 pounder with this one. I need to just reel it in because if I catch it, I'm going to be hot. All right, yeah, we got to switch it back. They forcing us to have the regular jig. Uh, but I got the X series. I had this barbless too. I'm going to go with this X series. It's a little heavy. I caught the last one with the half ounce too. But we'll try it and see. We'll try it and see. I'm going to switch it up to the chocolate. And if we aren't getting any bites, if it's, oh, it said it's too heavy for this rig. All right, let me go back. You can usually get around that. Like, it don't make that big of a deal, but I kind of want to throw this emerald out here, too, just to see if it'll work. Yeah, that's too heavy, too. Doggone it. All right, we'll do this half ounce. Half ounce with the chocolate. And then I can use, this is a much heavier setup. I shouldn't have any issues if I use a larger hook like this trophy. So I would try that out and see as well. I throw the blue on this one. I try them both. I switch back and forth and see what we have better luck with. Uh, let's see. You actually a boy, but your mom. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Well, how you doing, man? I remember a uh, long time ago, you said that you were on your mom's account. You say you actually a boy on your mom's account. So you just got out of school. Okay, that's cool, man. Well, how was school today? You do well. You learn something. Hope you was in there learning something, paying attention. Yeah, how have you been? How have you been? We got a hit. We got a hit. Ah, I didn't take it. Uh, let's see. You say you you ignore that warning. Uh, if it's just the soft bait itself that makes it too heavy. Okay. Oh, something jumped on there. Ah, it jumped off at the end. It looked too small anyway. Okay, yeah. I'll I'll uh, make sure. Hey, good. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. Yeah, I'll check it uh, next time I set the rig up to see if that was all it was. These heavier lures, too, you usually have to turn your speed up because you can't get them off the ground. Can't get them off the bottom of the lake without turning your reel speed up a bit. Uh, let's see. Do you have any tips to get uh, Xperia? Oh, get experience for a level 25 player. Um, level 25. I'm, I'm going to throw it to the chat. Guys, what's a good lake for getting experience level 25? If White Moose is unlocked, 
White Moose, you can't go wrong there. Emerald Lake is still a good lake, even though, again, if you've been fishing Emerald Lake already, catching uh, walleye, you know it's boring. I know it's probably gotten a little boring. But uh, you still can grind Emerald Lake. I'm going to throw this one one more time, and then I'm going back to my other ride. Um, let's see, Emerald Lake. I think St. Croix, you can't go there quite yet. St. Croix is a good lake. This is a decent lake as well. If you go for like catfish, the gar are going to test your setup. So if your equipment isn't ready, you know, I would be careful with coming here to Quanchkin. And then you still can do Falcon Lake. Throw you out a few rides and go for trout and spin at the same time. You can, uh, when you combo it, you can make some pretty good XP. Hey, what's up, Everett? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, yeah, he's talking about XP. Oh, yeah, St. Croix is definitely good if you farm pike, but I don't think 25 will get you to St. Croix quite yet. What's up, Giraffe Boy? What's going on? What's going on? How goes it? Welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm fishing at Quanchkin. I am at Quanchkin. I just left the Everglades and caught a, I needed a five pound bass. I caught like a seven pounder. And we're doing this trophy bass two for the worm jig bait. So I need a large mouth that is a 5.6. So yeah, I'm trying to finish that. In the last stream, we went to the other lake where we needed it was, um, it was North Carolina. And we went there and we caught that one during the stream. So yeah, I'm trying to finish it up. Got the first one done pretty quickly. So we trying to get this second one done. Uh, you say 32 pound minimum on the titanium leader for gar. That's what I use. Yeah. Yeah, those gar, they'll fight. Ooh, they gonna put you to the test. If we catch another one, you'll see. Right now they've gotten kind of quiet. I might have to fast forward my time because nothing's biting. And that's rare that nothing bites. Especially the gar. If the gar unbiting, that's usually a problem. That is usually a problem. I'm not getting beeping right now, but that's because my sound is not on my... I got like a lot of cars up in here, so I might have to see if I can uh, switch my sound on, but I'm going to fast forward real quick. I might just go to the next day. We going to the next day. Let's go. Ah, uh, it's raining. Ah, uh, I don't know how this is going to turn out in the rain. But oh well. Let me see if I can change my sound real quick. Y'all bear with me. Y'all bear with me. It may not make a difference, but uh, a lot of times the game got to already be on the sound. Hey, shout out to Dean. Appreciate that, man. Hey, I see that hippo getting it in. E, E, E. <laughs> Got the tactical gear on. Yo, appreciate that. Shout out to Dean for the super chat, man. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Hey, all right. You have a good one. You have a good one, man. See you on the next one. Make sure you stop back through. Uh, let's see. Say you will fish that next level, all right? For sure, for sure. Uh, so your fishing season's over. You're on a team that's going to the state social studies competition. Nice. That's what's up. Hey, congrats on that. Congrats on that, man, and best of luck to y'all at the state competition. That is dope. Love to hear that, man, when people are doing it with the academics, man. Keep that up. Keep that up. Uh, let's say, all right, then, hey, well, take it easy. Uh, I'm going to just call you D because I don't know, uh, you know, the name. I know you said that's your mom's account, man, but I'm glad you stopped through. Take it easy. Have a good one, man. You got to go to school tomorrow. Do well.
Keep up that good work, man. I'll see you on the next one. Ah, uh, this rain is jacking things up. I don't know if I'm going to catch anything in this rain. The bass might be hiding. And I cannot fast forward without using a bait coin. Up, oh, up. Oh, I might have spoke too soon. Oh, I might have spoke too soon. This could be another drum, but you know what? The way the line is wiggling, I don't think that's a drum. The drum didn't have the little wiggle on the line, so this might be a bass. Uh, nah, that's another drum. We keep catching these drum right here at this spot. I'm going to have to cast somewhere else. We keep catching these drum. That was acting like it was going after my uh my other one. Let me cast over here. I'm going to just try a different spot just to see. That's where we got a large mouth uh, marked, but it, it's not panning out right now. It is not panning out. Let's see if we move the spot a little bit. See if we get better luck. I keep seeing the water move right there, but I think somebody who's casting from the other side is uh, hitting that spot. Let me get a look closer to the lily pads. See if we get a little better luck. If not, the way it's been going, guys, each stream, we've been able to at least do one of the, the, the do or complete the mission for that lake. So the other stream, we were able to complete NC. This one, we did just knock off um, uh, fishing at the previous lake, going to the Everglades in Florida. So in this one, if we don't get it here, I know we'll get it in the next stream. We might have to just do one lake each stream. Uh, <laughs> I hear my son. My son is home. Y'all might have to give me a second. I got to I gotta greet my son. I hear him hollering. I think he's trying to stop him from coming in. He love to bust up in here when I'm streaming. Yeah, it's going to be time for daddy to go see his, his little man. Yeah, because we're not getting hits. And the bass usually aren't as responsive in the rain. They quiet down. They go to other spots. So I'm trying to make it to the sun comes back out. But if not, we're going to have to get it in the next one, guys. I'm going to switch this worm up real quick and throw a couple more casts. Let's see if we go back to this green one. All right, let's go. Maybe this green jammy will light them up. Now, I was catching quite a few drum with this one, so I wouldn't be surprised if we catch another drum. They don't seem to care about the rain as much. Let me try twitching. See if we get some twitch activity. Not too much of anything. Oh, there we go. We got a hit, though. We finna get us a gar. 
We got a hit with the gar. Let's go. Hey, what's up, Fiber? What's going on? How goes it? How goes it? What's been up with you? Hey, what's up, E? What's going on? What's going on? Yes, sir. Chills. Cheers. Look, I'm with you. Cheers. It's Thursday. Level up to my daddy cup. Level up the daddy for my son. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cheers. You know, I got that good evening coffee in here. Hey, all is well, man. The family is doing good. Family's doing good. Uh, my son just came in. I hear him in there. He want to bust in here. I know they had to stop him because he want, he always want to bust in here and greet me and bang on the keyboard. <laughs> but the family is doing well, man. How are you? How your family been, man? How's everybody been on your end? Uh, let's see. If not, you can try the Pelican Hut Spine. There are uni largemouth there. I, hey, I'm finna do that now. Got us another trophy. Yo, these joints be big. Look at that. Whew. That's a big mamma jamma. Yes, sir. Mini macro. That's my guy. That is my guy. Uh, Pelican Hut. Hey, I'm finna go ahead over there now. We gonna try Pelican Hut before we, before we shut it down. Okay. I originally spawned in at the Pelican Hut. Now, I don't know which way to go, though. I will tell you that, just being sprayed up. I've caught bass and pickerel down this way. Am I going to the right area, Dean, or do I need to go back? Yeah, I've caught pickerel down here, casting down that way. And casting down this way. Hey, glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. I'm going to cast real quick, see if we can catch anything. I've caught bass over here. I can't remember if it was small mouth or large mouth. And the pickerel. Man, that, uh, it's one mission where you got to catch up. Certain size pickerel, two, three pounder. It took forever. I came back here. I mean, it took weeks to catch that fish. I would leave and just go do other stuff and come back because every time I would sit here and grind it, like I would never catch it. And one day, finally caught that jammy. Okay, all right, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. All right, I see you. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Shout out to Dean. Uh, Fiber said, do bass pay differently for each map? A little bit. For the most part, they're the same. But as you go to different maps, you start getting like speckled bass and uh, things like that. The speckled ones, they pay way better. They start getting into the thousands when you get to lakes with the speckle. But they're higher lakes. Okay. Ah, all right, all right. Dean showing me a nice spot right here. See if we can catch us a uni or oh, a trophy. I'm good with the trophy. I'm good with the trophy. But yeah, so for the most part, bass are the same. But as you level up, you'll see bigger ones. Or when you get to those speckled, those those peacock bass, they pay way better when you start getting to those peacock. Uh, let's see. Fiber said you were level 56 and your account got hacked. Ah, oh, man. Sorry to hear that. That's terrible. That's terrible, as Charles Barkley would say. That's terrible. Oh, is that a hit? Oh, okay, nah, nah, we, I done caught some. I'm going to keep this just because, you know, you get little uh, accomplishments, little missions for catching trash. See, you level 56. Dang, that's jacked up, though. You back at 19 now. Okay. Hey, you going to grind it out, I'm sure. Doggone it. I done got caught on the weeds again. 
Uh, let's see, you don't have the markers, but you had them. There's also both in, which for some reason attacked the bass jig. Okay. Yeah, I've been catching those drums for whatever reason. Appreciate that, Dean. I'm going to try. Uh, I'm going to move a little bit, too. I'm going to try here, and I'm going to go to the to the right a bit, see if we can catch anything. Yeah, you got a long way, but look, and I've been saying this for a minute, but I am going to do it. I am going to do it. Lord, I'm dreading it, though. But you know what? I'm embracing. I ain't going to even dread it. I'm going to start over on the PlayStation and the Xbox. Oh, we caught one. Hey, there we go. We ain't caught one in a minute, man. 3.3. .3. We getting there. We getting there. Hey, thanks, Dean. Thanks, Dean. We caught a 3.3. .3. Now, we got to get the 5.6, but we did catch the 3.3. .3, so that's we, we, we halfway there. We halfway there. Let me buy some more markers. Let me buy some more markers. All right. Let me uh mark this jammy real quick. Bam. There it is. That was worth catching those reeds a couple times just to get that one. Yeah, you got a long way to go, but yes, I, I'm when I have it to start over level one on the PlayStation, because I'm gonna stay. On the PS4 or 5, I got the 5. On PlayStation and Xbox, I will be starting at level 1. But I think that'll be interesting for everybody who does join in or who comes back to see. I think it'll be very interesting to start from the beginning. Because I got the perspective now of a person that's been playing it for a few years, you know. So that'll be, that'll be something to start over. That'll be something to start over. Yeah, appreciate that, Dean. Uh, let's see, you were 56 on PlayStation. Now you're on Xbox Series X. Looks way better in 4K. Hey, nice. You know, I got to see how it's going to look because I believe I've installed it on the PS4. But I didn't really play it. Like, I'm level one. I don't even think I did the tutorial. So if I do it, I'll go ahead to PS5 and see how that looks. Although I ain't got no 4K TV, but still, I know it's going to look better. My monitor, it should at least look better on the monitor, right? Let's see. Let's say, ouch, you couldn't do <laughs> Hey, I feel you now. It'd be rough. That'd definitely be rough to start over. Uh, the Fresh Start grind is pretty awesome, not going to lie. Okay. Okay. I'm going to embrace it when I do it. I'm going to embrace it. Daniel say, hey, been watching for years and I never caught a live. Hey, glad you made it. Glad you made it. Hope all is well with you. How you doing? How you doing? We going to move just a little bit, see if we get some more activity right here. Uh, Fiber say on PS4, quite choppy. Okay. So you had this account since 2016 and only level one. That's how little you played back then. Hey, I feel you. It took me a minute to level up um, because I was the same way. I was playing, and I, I would play really regularly, like every day, every other day. Or I would play for a block of time, like months, and then I might take a break because I get mad because I would get a fine or something, lose all my money. But um, once I really get back, got back into it grinding and streaming and stuff, I've been on it hard. And then I started getting DLCs and stuff as well. Okay, the rain stopped. Yes, this should make a difference. Once I got that, uh, I got the Amazon DLC when the Amazon was the top lake before the Congo came out. Once I got that Congo, that was it. Because I made so much money and so much XP. Like, it was crazy. I say this again. Grind it out. I played until the level 40s without ever getting a DLC or anything. But if you want to get your level up, and set yourself where you can go to every lake pretty much forever. Man, get that Congo DLC. Get that Congo DLC. You will be in the game. Like, for real, for real. Hey, Niz, what's going on? What's going on? What's up, Niz? How you doing? How's everything on your side of the globe, man? Hey, I'm doing good, Daniel. Like I said, I can't complain, man. Can't complain. I'm I'm healthy, happy. The family's good. I cannot complain. I cannot. 
could she? You say, what level am I? I am 71, 72, somewhere around there. I'm still trying to get to 75. That's that's my goal. I went and bought a license at the Amazon and didn't even fish. I caught like one shark and left. I was supposed to be grinding to get it up to 72, but, you know, it happens. And life happens. Uh, let's see. The game is really relaxing. It's one game you can probably chill on your phone while you fish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially now that they got the uh, the ISO. I need to get the, well, I'm waiting for it to come out on Android. But, yeah, right now it's just ISO. But, yeah, I feel you. This is a chill, laid-back game, man. I tell you about it. I used to, um, you know, IRL fishing with my grandfather. And it is real relaxing. It is real peaceful. You know, that that connection with nature. You know, we sit. We be in front of these computers on these screens. So it's real good to get out there and fish, man. But uh, Fishing Planet does a great job of mixing the simulation, the, real, the realness, and still keeping it where a game. Because you know how it is. Sometimes you'll be waiting for a long time to catch a fish. It's going to be a little different in real life. Sometimes you catch them quickly, but they, they blend the real life part of it well with keeping it game friendly so you ain't just sitting there forever not catching anything. Uh, let's see, you got Congo about five days ago and you up to up 25 levels. Yeah, the Congo is serious, like for real. If you ever want to level up, the Congo is crazy and you will make so much money. My man Toby not here, but he went up like 40 levels and made like 10 million in 30 days. Like it was it's insane. It was insane how much money and leveling he did. Um, ha ha say you criminal, you've been guilty of that too, sneaking those fish into your pockets. <laughs> I feel <fear> you. <laughs> Let's see, you maxed out your rank. Hey, nice. Uh DLC is the way to go. You got the Amazon when it was the best lake. Yep, I did the same thing. I did the same thing. That was kind of my introduction to getting a DLC. And then what's the Congo? They trumped the Amazon. Like they took it to the next level when they dropped that Congo. Uh, Dean say, okay, time to try a monster. Oh yeah. I caught the monster here. I caught two monsters here. Actually the catfish joint and the, um, the other monster. I forgot what the other one was, but yeah, man, go after them monsters. I was doing that on stream. We were going after monsters like every stream. Uh, let's see, you've only did bass fishing in real life. Uh, you prefer that over carp. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I've am i always fished kind of local. I'm in the uh, the south in the state, so, and at the ocean as well. I've done ocean fishing. I've done deep sea fishing. So, mainly around here, you know, we got like brim, catfish. We got a lot of catfish here where I'm at in brim. You can catch bass as well, but I've never caught bass locally. I only caught bass at the uh, the ocean. When you go to the beach, and then I've called uh, grouper. Uh, it's another fish like grouper that I always forget. Uh, flounder, sharks, snapper. I call out a red snapper. I'm trying to think what else, but that's a lot of what we have around here. Uh, let's see. You did a lot of carp. A lot of carp in the UK, people mainly go for pike and carp that I know of. Okay. Now, I think I've asked this before, but it's been a while. But how is carp? Do people eat carp and pike? Because, again, I've around here, we only eat, like, flounder, um, whitefish, cod, uh, what else? Grouper, you know, things like that. So I'm just wondering what's the, what's the good eating? And then, you know, of course, they do, local, like I say, at the coast, you know, you can get snapper. You'll get uh, bass as well. But I've never eaten bass, oddly enough. I ain't catching nothing right here. I'm going to go back to the gar spot. Uh, let's see. You should have over 100K. Uh, you low key carrying quarantine for me. <laughs> hey, nice. Hey, look, I'm glad that y'all enjoyed it, man. For real, for real. Glad I could be a part of that. 
Uh, you try carp, but it's so hard to get enough meat. Okay, a lot of bones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. That would work well for me. Uh, I said whiting, but I meant white whiting. I said white fish. Uh, not that I'm aware. We eat the same pretty much with the addition of haddock. Okay. I'm going to go back over here real quick. Since the sun came out, I'm going to try a couple here, guys, and then I'm going to probably wrap it up. And depending on how the evening go, I might jump back on later. But I'm going to throw back out, see if I can catch me a guy while we sitting here. See if I can catch me a guy. And see if I can catch this dog on largemouth bass. I don't know why this bass is playing. Uh, let's see. South Africa, yes. Uh, we'll eat some carp. Uh, but it's not served in restaurants. It's a personal preference. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Like, even speaking on bass, where I'm at at least, they don't serve bass a lot in restaurants. Now, at the coast, they'll serve it. But here where I'm at, it's still more catfish. Flounder is big. Like, everybody eats flounder around here where I'm at. Um, Flounder and catfish. You'll always have them. They salt and pepper it, salt and pepper catfish, shrimp. You know, then of course the crustaceans like lobster, uh, crawfish. You know, they do the crawfish like New Orleans and Mississippi and things of that nature. But mainly what they serve in restaurants, like they always going to have flounder. They'll have whiting, um, cod. Up oh, The sun might have made, this going to be another drum, dog on it. This better be a bass, but I, it's going to be another drum. We caught about three or four drum here. Um, and what else? Oh, tilapia. Tilapia has gotten real big, but I don't like tilapia. I don't eat tilapia no more. I've eaten it before, but I try to stay away from it. This is another drum, guys. This is another drum. We cannot catch this dog on bass. Uh, never had pike. It just feels weird to eat them because they're kind of skinny. Okay. Yeah, I haven't caught a uh, pike, so I hadn't seen them in real life like that. To see uh, if they would translate into some good eating. Let's see. Carp has a lot of bones. It smells a lot. Yeah, I don't like it when they smell too fishy. All right, we caught another freshwater drum. Another drum. Drum are hitting right here, but the bass, I got a spot. I got a marker for the bass, but they just not hitting. Uh, let's see. Illinois love our fried catfish and occasional bass. Okay. I got to try some bass. I'm going to try some bass. Then if I go back to the beach, I might just pick some up if I don't catch it. What's my favorite lake? Mm. White moose got a place in my heart, right? White moose is one I spent a lot of time. That was my first lake that I saved up enough bait coin through just gameplay and grinding, and I, I purchased that unlimited. So I spent a lot of time at White Moose. Um, I like Blue Crab. Blue Crab is is a dope grind at Cove where you catch those uh, tarp, where you catch those snook, the drum, those uh, pick. What is it? It starts with the P. Somebody let me know in the chat. What's that name of the one with the P that's uh, at Blue Crab? Per, per, perch it, pitch, oh, I can't think of it right now. It's a, it's slipping my mind. I like blue crab, though. I actually like Kanik. I haven't been out there a while, but it's something about catching those salmon. I don't know. I, I like Kanik. I enjoyed it. I did all the missions there. I caught the uh, monster. Well, they monster is catching a bunch of little fish, but yeah, Kanik is kind of fun, too. And I'm trying to think what else. And then some of the trout lakes, like Rocky and Falcon. I dig those too. Those are great, especially early on as well. It's just some fun fishing for those trout. Ah, oh, that looked like it might have been a bass. Doggone it, bass. Uh, let's see. Try using a different lure. What's up, Asian kid? Permit. There it is. I hey, appreciate that. Uh, let's see. You feel like you wasted a lot of bait coins on Unlimited when you hardly go there. I agree. I agree. It took everything in me to spend that 250 bait coin. And then I 
I stayed there for a while. Like I grinded, but once I got past it, once I got beyond, and once I hit places like Blue Crab, like I ain't been back since. I ain't been to White Moose in a while. Well, other than going back to finish missions and um mainly for missions and get the monster. But yeah, they they kind of fool you. Like, I still would say if you're gonna spend bait coins, one of the best things to spend bait coins on besides special lure is unlimited licenses. But honestly, the more the higher the levels they keep unlocking. If you can't unlock the high ones, which is going to cost you like 2000 or 1500 it almost ain't worth it because every time they put out a new one, it makes the old ones obsolete. So they need to find a way. I doubt the deals would do this. You know, they're they making their money. But they need to find a way to make it where when you do invest in Unlimited that – when you do invest in Unlimited, that I don't know, you still get some benefit out of it later. Once you know you get beyond the lake and it becomes obsolete, because otherwise, you know, or it's a way to get it back. I know they're not gonna do that, but I don't know. I don't know. I would have to think about that long and hard to just see what would make it beneficial. But yeah, you got to be real choosy or spend a bunch of money to get those uh, top tier lakes Unlimited. Uh, bass is like a prize fish in South Africa, so people hardly eat it. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Oh, no, my ride going off. I can't hear it beeping, man. My sound is not coming through my speakers right now. Uh, it was on my headphones, so I got to watch out for it. Uh, do I play on Steam or Microsoft? I play on Steam. I play on Steam. Uh, maybe give you bait coins ever so often for certain fish like the fisherman version. Yeah, that would be great. Uh, they actually did that early on in the early life of Fish and Planet. Even before I started playing, you would get bait coins for Yonis, and then they did that in the fisherman. And I have the fisherman, but I bought it on like a sale, but I don't even play it. I never played it once. It's still just sitting in my uh in you know my games that I've purchased. Uh yeah, let me try a different. I'm going to try this blue worm, guys. And after that, yeah, I'm going to have to wrap it up. But, yeah, they really need to do something else. Um, or again, getting more bait coins would be great. But they try to make it. I don't want to say as difficult as possible. But you can only get them through missions. And missions are finite. Even though they have a bunch of missions and they keep releasing more missions, missions are finite. You get them through the five-day login. But that's five days. So that means you only get one a week. So it's five days instead of seven. But if it's 52 weeks in a year, that means you only get 52 bait coins a year. If we round up for the extra two in the 52, we'll say you get, I just say 60 to be generous. I don't even think it's quite 60. But that's not a lot, you know, with the login. And then competitions. And we know competitions are kind of rigged. They're a little fluky. Um, I've yet to win a competition. I've placed in competitions or the team competitions. I've, you know, won on a team and then you can win some. I suggest if you do want to play missions, do team ones or competitions, excuse me, because you at least got a 50, 50 chance of your team winning. But other than that, it's very hard to get bait coins. Uh, Dan, you say you would play on Steam, but you started on Xbox and didn't want to restart. Hey, I understand. That's why I'm stuck on Steam and still haven't done my restart on Xbox or PlayStation yet that I'm planning to do. Hey, what's up, DB? Say you made it back. Um, you hadn't missed a lot. I've moved around, caught a couple spots or went to a few spots. I caught the large bass somewhere else and I came back here and I still haven't caught it, but... Yeah, it's looking like it's going to be the next stream. It's looking like I'm going to have to wrap it up. Uh, how do you win competitions? Well, let me show you the competition. So if you go to sport, these competitions are very hard, right? I think people know where they're at. I don't know. They know the spots. It's a little glitchy. Custom competitions, you have way more of a chance. Hey, I've never seen this. Hold on. Let me see that check tackle requirements. Rewards. Okay. All right. These custom competitions are the way to go. Tournaments are really hard, too. They say they got a lot of hackers, a lot of cheaters. 
in the tournaments and the and the irregular competition. Custom competitions, you got a chance. Now, um, I would do the ones that are gold right here. You see these aren't gold, but if you see any competitions where these player indicators are gold, and like this one is a team one, you click on it, you go to view. Normally the rewards will say bait coins, but all of the gold ones are done, so we done missed those. But only play the gold ones, unless you like know the people who doing these, because you only win in money. You only win in the, the regular monet monetary, the regular currency. Do the gold ones. Anytime they're gold, you can win bait coins. And I recommend if you just start now doing these team ones like this. If you do the team one, you got a 50-50 chance of your team winning, and you'll get bait coins. I've won a few bait coins like that as well. What's up, Jay? What's going on? How goes it? How goes it? Shout out to Jay Enterprises. Uh, you were staying had cross. I know. I was saying that the other day. They definitely need um cross platform, man. I hope that the devs get that in sooner than later. So that we all can play together. No matter what platform you're on. If they can't do cross-platform, they need like a sync where you log your name in and you log it in on the different platforms. You log it in on PS and it'll sync your, your information. You log it in on Xbox, it'll sync. Like that would be dope as well, but, you know, they haven't done that. It's a pickle. At least we call something different, but it is just a pickle. I'm going to throw a little closer over here to the uh, to the bank. But yeah, guys, ah, I'm going to read this one and see what we get, guys. It look like we're going to wind it down. Unless I catch a bass, I'm going to wrap it up. And we're going to come back in the next stream, guys, for real, for real. Up. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, let's see. Should you go to the Everglades? Everglades because you have a heavy lure DLC ride. Should I do that for XP? Yeah, you would be good at the Everglades. Um, you got to go to. There is a spawn point that's all. I think it's a small mouth. Oh, spotted. Okay. If you go to the Everglades, there's a spawn point. It's the one the farthest to the right. If you got heavy setups, you'll be good because there are. Um, you can feeder and uh, match. Go for tarpine. Those are a little harder to catch. You'll catch snook more than anything and drum. And there's some catfish back there. But go for those tarp. You'll make good money, good XP off those. Yeah, I would say try those out. And then the worst case, if you're not catching anything, just go for bass. You'll at least make your money back off bass. Uh, so you wish you had the mobile cross. Uh, you don't know whether to play it. Or not, because you don't want to grind mobile, then they add cross. Yeah, no, I feel you. It's no way to know. The devs haven't really said anything about it, so it's just really no way to know. Uh, if you only have that one ride, it's not worth it. You want to have multiples. Okay, now you hear that? Uh, Daniel made a good point. If you only have one ride, it may not be worth it. You might want to wait till you can uh, save up and buy you a couple more rides and use your ride stand. Uh, Jay say you got a YouTube channel too. Nice. Jay Enterprises got him a YouTube channel. Check him out. I don't know. I haven't seen it, but you check him out. Let me know what you think. Give me, give me your feedback. Uh, the next stream will probably be this weekend. I might get on tomorrow, uh, depending on how work goes. If I get everything done, I try to jump on tomorrow. But uh, Saturday, look out for Saturday and Sunday. Go on and subscribe. Look out for the notice. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, guys. Get them likes up for me before you leave out. Uh, but share this so others can check this out. Y'all know how we do, man. But yes, yes. Daniel said you just hit 50 yesterday. That four ride holder is nice, ain't it? Man, I remember when I hit that 50. Yes, sir. That four ride holder is business. It's good business. Up, up, look like we got a gar on the line. We got a gar on the line. Uh, do you need a bait ride? Yes. I would go for feeder because they're easier to deal with. So, yeah, I would go for feeder. But if uh, not do a match ride, 
whichever one you don't have, get the other. But feeders are easier because you can just listen for the bell and so you don't miss the fish. Hey, shout out to Dean. Yo, appreciate that, man. Shout out to Dean for that super chat. Hey, glad I could help. Glad I could help. And thank you as well. Thank you as well. Uh, appreciate the help. Appreciate you hanging out at the stream, man. This has been a great stream, guys. This has been a great stream, guys. Yeah, I'm going to have to shut it down. We're going to go in and wrap it up. I'm going to reel this one in, see if we catch anything on the way in. But, yeah, this has been a great stream, man. Uh, let's see. Drop your gamer tag. You'll fish with the glaze with them. Hey, you hear that? Drop that, Daniel. Uh, DB. <laughs> And uh, Daniel will help you out, man. Y'all can fish. Yeah, guys. All right. So we're going to wrap it up. Hey, thank you guys, man. Hope y'all have a great day tomorrow. If I don't see you, have a great weekend. Prayers up. Peace and blessings. Hope you and your family, your loved ones are safe, healthy, happy. And uh, definitely come back through. Holler at me anytime. Drop in that chat or in that comment box, man. Again, thank you all, man. This has been a great stream. So I'm going to holler at y'all. We'll be back in the next one, and we will do it again, guys. All right. Charles Macro Fishing Planet. Salute to the Elite Fam. Thank you to everybody again who has been here. And I'm going to holler at y'all on the later on. Hey, DB Cooper. <laughs> what up, what up, what up? Danielle, uh, BZ Hub, told you the same thing. You just wanted to have two opinions. Okay. All right, all right. All right, guys. So, yeah, I'm out. I will see y'all later, man. Y'all take it easy.